Hello, how's everybody doing today? Well, my name is Abby. Um, for any of you that I haven't met yet, so happy to have you here today. So in today's webinar, we're going to dive into our built-in email marketing feature. Um, you know, as you know, email marketing is really a must-have component of your overall marketing strategy for your salon or spa. When you use email marketing, it's going to do so many beneficial things for you. It's going to help you boost your bookings and drive more sales. It's going to let you promote your services to relevant audiences and attract new clients. Um, and it's going to help you build lasting relationships with your existing clients as well. And you can use our built-in email marketing to send all kinds of different email campaigns. And we're going to talk about some of those today, and I'm going to actually show you a campaign. But you can use it to build lots of campaigns such as newsletters. You know, maybe you send out a weekly newsletter or a monthly or an annual newsletter with all the latest happenings at your salon or your spa. You can also use email marketing to send out information about deals and promotions you're running. So, you know, maybe you have some specials going on at your salon or spa. Maybe you have some sales going on for some of your retail products, or maybe you're even running some promotions on some of your services. Email marketing is a great way to let your clients know about those deals and promotions. And then also um, you can use our email marketing campaigns to send out announcements. So this is a really great use case as well. So maybe you want to keep your clients updated about a new location that you're opening, for example. You know, maybe you're a growing salon or a spa. Um, you already have a couple locations. And let's say you're going to expand into another um, neighborhood in the same city, or maybe you're going to open a location in a brand new city. So an email campaign is a perfect way to keep your clients up to date about that. You can also let them know about other, you know, upcoming events. Um, maybe you also want to let your clients know about new staff member hires, um, you know, other people that you're adding to your team, maybe some specialized services they're bringing in. So I love email marketing because it's so easy to spin up a campaign and keep your clients in the loop about everything that you have going on. So in today's webinar, um, you know, I'm really going to just jump in and show you guys how to build an email marketing campaign right in Mango Mint in just a few minutes and show you guys how easy it is to do. So let's go ahead and jump right into the Mango Mint platform and let's take a look at email marketing. Okay, and now I am sharing my Mango Mint app screen. Of course, if anybody can't see that, just let me know. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the chat. Um, I'll try to answer anything live if we have time for it. And any question that we don't get to, we'll make sure that we follow up one-on-one -on -one after today's webinar as well. All right, so let's go ahead and just get started here. Um, so I'm right here in my Mango Mint app. I'm looking at the calendar. This is what you're typically going to see when you log into your Mango Mint account. Um, but we're now going to go over to the email marketing screen and we're going to create a new email campaign. So let me show you how to do that. So we're right here. All you need to do to go to the email marketing screen is you'll just go up here to this top bar and you're gonna go click on more if you don't see email marketing um, and then just click here on email marketing. And so we are now seeing um, the email marketing screen right here. And I'm actually gonna try just zooming in just a little bit so you guys can see that even better. Okay, so we are here on the email marketing screen. So this is really great. Um, in this screen, you can see all of your different sent um, and draft campaigns at a glance. So if I'm just going to scroll down here and show you guys some of the campaigns I have, you can see here, um, if we look at the status column, you can see that I do have quite a few campaigns that are in this draft status. So that just means I haven't sent them yet. And then you can see if you look, um, glance down here, you can see this green dot and it says sent. So you can also see that I have also sent quite a few different email campaigns already. Um, I also really like this screen because at a glance, you can quickly view other important metrics as well. So if I just scroll down here, you can see information about um, you know, who it was delivered to, who has opened the campaign, and then also how many clicks happened in each campaign as well. So you can just see all of that as you scroll down. Um, we're going to come back to the screen in a few minutes, but first let's go ahead and just create a new email campaign. So in order to do that, you're just going to go right up here to this button and just click on new campaign. So um, let's go ahead and click that. 
Um, so we have a lot of different options here. And I was kind of just going over some different use cases for campaigns, whether you want to send out, you know, different um, newsletters or information about promotions, whatever it may be. But let's say for this example that I want to create a birthday campaign. Um, and so we want to go ahead and send this campaign to every client who has an upcoming birthday in March. So we're here in February. Let's say we're kind of prepping for the month ahead and we want to go ahead and do a campaign for all of those who have that March birthday. So now that I'm here in my new campaign editor, I just need to add a campaign name. So I'm just going to call this March birthdays. You could even put um, the send date if you want to, or you could just leave it as is. I'll put something here. Um, let's say I'm going to put March 2024. I'm just going to do that. So I make sure I know exactly what year is for this is for in case I come back and want to send another March birthday campaign in the future. And then I'll just go ahead and create a subject line. So let me just add something here. I'm just going to say um, happy birthday from the Seven Lakes Salon and Spa. Let's go ahead and add that. Okay, you can have that whatever you want it to be, you know, make sure that your subject line, keep it pretty short, um, you know, it will get cut off, as you guys all know, it's going to get cut off if you have it too many characters, and also make it, you know, kind of fun, creative, something a little bit snappy, um, so that people are more, you know, they feel engaged, and they want to actually go and, you know, open that email. Um, if we click on advanced options, you can add preview text if you want to. So again, this is just the text, the additional text that will appear in the email preview. Um, you don't have to add text here, but I often like to. So I'm just gonna say, open this birthday surprise, something like that, kind of pique their interest a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and scroll down. And now we actually need to create the audience for this email campaign. So we do have a couple um, different options here. You could, of course, send the clients or the send the campaign to all clients. However, that wouldn't be appropriate for this birthday campaign that we're building, because as you know, we only want to target people who have a birthday in March. Um, so what I'm going to do for this is instead of sending to all clients, I'm going to use this second option where it says only certain. Uh, clients based on filters. So I really love Mango Mint's email marketing because we make it super easy to create really highly customized uh, audience lists and you can target different groups of clients based on different criteria and also based on how they've interacted with your salon or spa. So different behaviors they've um, done, you know, if they have an upcoming appointment, how much money they've spent, things like that. You know, if they spent over a certain amount, you can actually target them that way. If I just click here on the filters, I'm going to click this and just kind of let me go down here just so you guys can see and get a good idea of all the different filters that we have available right now. So you can see um, these are all related to, you know, has or had appointment. And then you can kind of drill down even further. So you can target clients who went to a specific location, for example, um, with a specific provider or clients who received a specific type of service. You can really see here how easy it is to get really targeted with these campaigns. And, you know, typically when you're sending email campaigns, the more personalized you can get and the more targeted you can make your list, it's going to make them that much more successful. And if I scroll down here, you can also see we have a lot of different client filters. So we have, you know, do they have a future appointment or maybe they have no future appointment? Um, you can see there's that one I was mentioning before they've spent more than. So you can kind of target your clients who are really spending a lot of money with you. Um, you can even target specific clients based on membership status. So a lot of different options here for you. Um, I won't go through every one in this feature spotlight, but let's go ahead and proceed with building this email campaign. Um, so we do know this is a birthday campaign. So I'm going to use our birthday filter that we have. So let me go ahead and click that. And this is really great because with the birthday filter, if you want, you could actually um, send a campaign to clients who have, uh, basically if they have a birthday in multiple months, you could do that. So like if you wanted to do something in the first quarter of the year and everybody January through March, you could do something like that. Or you can just target clients who have um, a birthday that's, you know, target clients that have a birthday in one month. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's go ahead and just click on March. 
So I've now selected that. You can see here now, um, this is really cool because as you look at this, basically this will show you in real time which clients actually match your filters. So you can see here that once we selected um, the birthday in March for that filter, now we have only six clients who do match that filter. So we've got, um, they're all listed right here. You can see their name and their email address. So that's super easy. We've now you know, built our email audience for this campaign. And now we're actually going to go ahead and start building out more content here. So I'm just gonna click Save and Next. And then this is now where we're gonna choose an email template. Um, so there's a couple different um, things we can do here. And you kind of have a choice to make when you get to this screen. So the first thing you need to really do is decide whether you wanna start from scratch. So if you wanna start from scratch, you can just go right here. Or um, you can choose to use one of our ready to use pre-built templates that we already have here. And all of these are professionally designed. You can see, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit, but you can see that we have a ton of really beautiful templates to choose from. So I'm just gonna show you guys kind of a preview of all of these. As I'm scrolling down here, you know, you can see that we have there's a wide range of different types of templates. So you can see we have some that are a little bit more bold. They have really bright pops of color. So maybe like this one, I'm thinking of this one, or maybe this color pop right here. Um, and we also have some that are a lot more minimalistic um, and maybe a little bit more neutral as well. So something like this editorial one, this is very pretty neutral. Um, we have this one called Au Natural, you know, very a little bit more um, neutral and less bright pops of color and things like that. So no matter what your brand is like, you can really find something in, that's here that's going to match your branding that you already have. And it can even help you elevate your brand aesthetic as well. And what you'll also notice here just as I'm scrolling down is that we do also have some seasonal templates. Um, so for example, we do have some really nice Valentine's Day ones. Um, we even have... Um, other ones here as well. We have this one, not only do we have seasonal templates, um, and by the way, we are going to continue to add more seasonal templates throughout the year as well. So stay tuned as we get to other you know, seasons and other upcoming holidays, you will be seeing new templates cycling in here as well. And also, I did want to point this out too. We even have a new software announcement template. So this is a really nice one. If you have recently switched to Mango Mint, we actually have this one already built for you if you want to announce your new booking software to your clients. Um, so this is a really nice one that we've just added within the last few weeks. And also something about our templates too is that you can customize all of these templates as needed. So if you see something you like, but you want to make some edits to it, it's super easy to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do here is we have a birthday campaign that we're setting up. And um, as you can see, you know, I want to make sure that I'm just going to go ahead and use one of the templates we already have available. You know, I don't have a lot of time to create this email campaign. So I need something that is fast and it's also going to be really eye catching. So I want to use one of our pre-built birthday templates that we already have available. So if you look here, you can see we do have three different birthday template options for you. Um, we've got pastel party, golden birthday, and the birthday bash. Um, so I'll just click on these quickly so you guys can get a little preview of them. I love this um, preview right here because you can see it a lot bigger. So you can really see if this is going to work for you. So we've got this one. I'll just give you a little example of that, kind of scroll down. Um, but for this, I think I want to go ahead and use this template. So I really like this one. Um, so let's go ahead and just use it. So let's click on use this template and then we'll go ahead and start creating even more content in our campaign. So now that we've chosen um, an email template um, or if you're starting from scratch, either way, um, you'll then be taken to into the screen here. And this is our super easy to use email builder. Um, so I love this email builder because it uses a really simple, it's kind of like a drag and drop editor. So you can instantly see all of your changes as you're making them and you can just drag things into position as you need to. So you don't need to have any you know, specific professional email building experience. You don't need to do coding or anything like that. Um, this is really user friendly. 
Um, so this makes it you know, really easy to customize and build the email. And the way this is gonna work, if you, I'm gonna kind of direct your attention over here, um, you can customize your email and kind of build the content using um, what we have here, these different rows. And then we also have content modules right here. So if I click on rows here, what you'll see is the rows, they really just help provide a structure to your email before you actually add content. So it's really nice. Um, you can, I'll just scroll down and you can see there's different options here. So this lets you choose, you know, how many columns do you want in the row? You can mix and match as well. Maybe you want um, three, you know, evenly divided columns. You can do something like that. Or maybe you want one where the left side takes up a lot more space, you know, the majority of the space. And then you have a little additional um, column on the right, something like that. So, um, and I'm actually gonna click here as well. You can see that this template that we're using, it already contains a few different rows. So if I just click here, I'm gonna click and you can just see all of these are different rows that have already been set up. So this is a row and then you can see this is a row as well. And you can even see it says, when I click here, it'll say row over there. So you can see this is a row as well. So it's really easy to go in and edit that. And then once you have your rows in place, if I click here on content, um, then you can basically add these different content modules to each row. So you can add everything from you know, a headline, um, this title text right here, that would be for a headline or something like that. You can add some body text, you can add different paragraphs. Um, if you wanna add images, buttons, you know, dividers, spacers, maybe you wanna add some social media icons, um, all of that you can do there. You can also add video even if you wanted to. So a lot of different content modules to choose from so you can get pretty creative if you want to. Um, so this is, it's really nice because, you know, using only the rows and these different content modules, you can easily build an entire email. So let's go ahead and I want to customize this template a little bit further for our birthday campaign that we're making. Um, so first thing I'm noticing here at the very top, and this is really important because this is, you know, the very top of our email. So this is one of the first things that our clients will see when they open our email, but I'm noticing that it does have this placeholder logo. So I wanna go ahead and add the Seven Lakes Salon and Spa. I wanna add their logo here instead. So what I'm gonna do is just click on this logo and then I'm just gonna click here where it says change image. And then what that's going to do is this is going to open up our file manager screen right here. And I really love this screen because we make it super easy for you to keep all of your image files organized in one place. Um, and you can even, if you want to, you'll notice that I have different folders here. So I have one called logo assets. This one's called salon team photos. So you can actually go and create different folders if you wanted to. Um, and then you can kind of further organize all of your images, you know, based Based on what folder they go in. So if you wanted to just add another folder, you could just do that. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, so I have, I know that I already have a logo file in here that I want to use. It actually matches this email template. So I'm just going to click here on logo assets. There we go, that's opening up now. And so as you can see here, I do have these two different logo files already here. Um, for this particular email, I think I wanna use this like full logo that shows Seven Lakes Salon and Spa um, versus just using the one that has the two letters there. So I'm in order to choose this image, I just click here and click on insert. And now you guys can see that this logo has been swapped out. The old placeholder is gone. And now we've added this logo. And let's say, for example, I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I can just go over here and I'm going to just increase the size right here. So I'll do something like that. Just increase that. So now that'll really pop and stand out there at the top of the email. So we've got the logo up top there. Um, and so now that we've added our logo, let's customize some of the text for the email as well. So this says happy birthday. I like that. And I love this image that we have here. So I'm going to keep all of that. Um, but you can see here, there's this placeholder uh, paragraph of text here. Um, so I want to go ahead and just swap some of that out here. So let me go ahead and just delete some of that. And you can just delete it and start typing. So I'm going to say something. Let's see, I'm going to say like, hi, can you believe it's almost birthday? 
So I'm going to start the email out that way. And then I do want to personalize this a bit more. So what I can actually do to personalize this email is I'm going to address the client by their name. And what you can do is you can actually use something that's called a merge tag to do that. So I'm going to just add that right here. And then I'm just going to click wherever I want to add it and then click on merge tags. And then we're just going to use first name. So I've now clicked on that. And so as you can see, and you can tell it's a tag because it has this little border around it, this little blue border. So we know that that's a merge tag. So now um, the system is going to automatically insert the client's first name there to just personalize this a bit more. So I really like that. And then I'm just going to add some more um, text here real quick. So let's say something like celebrate in style. Um, during, we know this is for March birthday, so I'm going to reference the month as well. And I'm just going to say you can get 20% off all services and 15% off all retail products. Just something there, just so you guys can have an idea. And I'll, then I'll say something like just mention the March uh, birthday special or I'll call it a promo. Just mentioned the March birthday promo. And then I'm just gonna um, add one more line of text here. I'm gonna say something like book now before slots fill up. You know, we wanna create some excitement and a sense of urgency with clients who are reading this. So there we go. Let's say, so I have some text there. And of course you could continue to go and edit that as you want to. Um, I do, I think I wanna make this text a little bit bigger. So right now, if I highlight that, we can already see what the font size is. So we can see over here that it's 16. Let's say that I wanna make this a little bigger. So I just highlight whatever text I wanna make bigger. And then I can just use this to increase the font size. So let me do something a little bit, let's go to 20. I think that looks just a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to read. So now we can see that paragraph that we've added. And then something else I wanna do is I want to also update um, this call to action button that I have here. So we have this green button. I wanna go ahead and say something like book now. Perfect. Book now. Okay. So now I've updated that button text right there. Let me go ahead and save this because I want to go, I want to grab our online booking link and I'm actually going to add it here onto this button so that when you click it, it'll open the online booking. So let me go ahead and I've saved my email. Now I'm going to go back and just grab that really quick. So I'm just going to go up here and go to settings, and then I'm going to go to online booking, and then I'm going to get my shareable booking link. So anytime you need to grab that link, you'll just go here to the online booking. And then um, this is the main location. So I'm just going to grab this booking link right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then now I'm going to go back to email marketing and open up that campaign that we had going there. So you can see it's really easy to save your progress and then jump back in and out as you need to. So let me go back here to my button. So now I want to add the link to this button. So that way, whenever people open the email and they tap this button, they'll be taken to the online booking. So what you do is you just click on the button or whatever element you're adding the URL to. And then you'll see on the right side, it says URL right here, the link type URL. I'm going to go ahead and just add that in there. So that is the link that I just copied and you can have it open the web page, which is what I want it to do. That's the default behavior. So that is in there now. Um, so now anytime clients click that book now, they'll be taken to the online booking. Um, so then you could just go, you know, I've, I've made some edits here. Um, you can just go ahead and continue. You would keep editing this email. You know, maybe you can say something else here. something like that, check out these specials. Um, maybe wanna let them know about a new hairstylist that we've just hired. Maybe we can even say like meet new stylist Maddie, something like that. Um, and then you would just go and continue to update the text as you need to. You would of course update, you know, make sure you update these paragraphs here and 
update these buttons as well. I'm not going to go through every single change. Um, that'll just take a little bit too long, but this will give you guys a little bit of a taste of how to use our email editor. And then of course, it's really easy, you know, as you saw before, if you need to swap out those images, we have these placeholder images here, but it's really easy for you to click on the image and then change image. And you can go and grab um, one that you've already uploaded. So you would just go ahead, continue to make your changes that you need to. Also, something else I wanna check before we exit this builder is we wanna make sure that we have our unsubscribe link. Always make sure, double check it, You know, make sure that you have the unsubscribe link showing correctly at the bottom. And you can see, I do already have it here. You know, It's already inserted into this template. So you can see that's right there, as well as the address of the Seven Lakes Salon and Spa as well. So that's just really important for your email deliverability to make sure that um, that is all set up. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just save that. And then um, once you kind of get all of the content in place, I want to show you how to finish previewing the email, and then we're going to decide when to send our campaign. So in order, you know, again, once take another look at it, make sure you've added everything, and then we can actually use some preview functions. So what we can do here is I'm going to click on preview and this will just take us into preview mode. And then this is really cool because you can actually preview it not only on desktop, but also on mobile. You know, so many of your clients, they are only checking their emails on their mobile device in many cases, especially if they're running around all day, they're on the go. Um, so you want to make sure that your emails look good in both desktop and mobile. So if I just scroll down here, we can get a preview of what this looks like on desktop. And then, um, and of course, you know, we haven't updated all the content yet, but you would have that finished out. And then I'm going to click on mobile so we can see that as well. And this is really nice. We give you a little preview on the mobile device. So you can kind of just see how the different modules will um, behave when you're looking at it on mobile instead and how things will stack and things like that when you're looking at mobile. And you can see the difference in how this looks compared to in desktop. So I'll just scroll down and let you guys look at that. Go back to desktop. So you'll just wanna make sure that everything looks good. Something else that you wanna do here as well, and this is something I really recommend um, anytime you send an email campaign, is that you can also send a test. So if you click here on send a test, you can easily send a test email to any email address that you want to. So I really recommend doing this, You know, send a test email to yourself or also even consider sending the test to others in your team as well. It's really helpful just to make sure you get multiple sets of eyes on the email when you can. Um, it's so nice, you know, in case you have a typo or something like that in your email, it'll just really help, uh, you know, uh, spot, you know, mistakes or things like that. So definitely always recommend to get another set of eyes on your emails before you send them out, because once you send them out, you know, you, they are out there in the world. So it always just helps to take a couple extra minutes and do that just to make sure that you're sending out an email that does look really good and really professional and isn't filled with typos or anything like that. So it'll just create a much better experience for your clients who are opening those emails. Okay, so once we've kind of previewed everything and we've done our email test, um, the next step is that we're going to go to is the last step where we can finish reviewing and send our email. So let's go ahead and click on next. Okay, so now we're here where it says review and send. And so we have a couple different options here. You can either choose to send your campaign immediately if you want to. Uh, many of our you know, customers are doing that, but you also have the option to schedule it for later. So I'll just click here. We can do immediately or click on later. Um, scheduling for later is a really nice option, something that a lot of people do and something I would definitely recommend. So it's really nice to schedule for later because you can easy, easily set up your campaigns you know, in advance. Um, when you actually have some time to do that and then send those later at times that are more optimal as well. So, you know, maybe there's certain times of day where you think your clients will be more likely to open your emails or maybe even specific days where they're more likely to open your emails. So this is really nice because you can prep it, prep those emails, you know, when it's convenient for you, but then actually send them at a different time and, you know, in the future where, the, where um, they're going to be more likely to be opened. So for this one, um, I want to go ahead and schedule this for a bit later. So I'm going to choose this option right here. And then once you choose later, then you'll just need to actually go ahead and set the date that you want to send it. So let's just click on that. And then we can go here and just choose when we want to send it.
Um, so this is, of course, a campaign for March birthdays. So I do want to make sure that this goes out, you know, before March 1st. That's what I would recommend if you're doing a birthday campaign. It's really nice to send it a few days before that month actually starts. So people can kind of see it a few days before it's their birthday month. They can start building some excitement and get them to start booking some services with you. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose to send this next Monday on February 26th. So I'll just go ahead and select that. And then you just choose the time. So you can choose whatever time you want to have it sent out. I'm going to send this at 10 a.m., for example. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And then um, that's all there is to it. We've decided which date we want to send it out at. Um, we're good to go there. And then right here, you will see, um, as you may already be aware, our marketing campaigns do require some marketing credits. Um, if you're listening and you're a Mangomint customer, every customer has been given 300 marketing credits. So you can test out the feature. And then, of course, it's super easy to purchase more credits as you need to. So this is really nice because it'll tell you right away exactly how many marketing credits you need because we're sending this to six different clients. Um, this is gonna require six marketing credits for this campaign. So then um, it'll let you know your current balance um, and then it'll let you know your new balance after you send that campaign as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and schedule the campaign now. So we'll just click schedule. And then now we're taken back to this screen. And this is really nice because now we can see our campaign that we just set up and we see this yellow indicator. So we know that this is a scheduled campaign. Okay, so I wanna talk about a couple other items on this email marketing screen as well. I wanna show you a couple other statistics that we have that you can see about email campaigns. So, um, you know, you can see we have a lot of different campaigns on this page already. I kind of showed you guys uh, earlier some, you know, we were kind of clicking through and looking at these different campaigns, but let's go ahead and click into a previous campaign and we can learn a little bit more about it and see some more metrics about the campaign. So I'm just going to click on this one. This says holiday gift card promo final version. Um, so this is one that we sent back in December. And so you can see a lot of great information here in this campaign details. So you can see a really nice overview. Um, so I love this overview tab because you can see all of the important campaign performance metrics for your campaign here. So we can look at this. Um, this is really nice. You know, you can see key metrics. So you can see how many people it was delivered to, how many people have opened the email, how many people clicked in the email. Um, how many unsubscribed, and then if it failed. Now you'll notice this is a high failure rate. This is just because this is my demo account. And so a lot of these clients in here are just fake clients with fake data. So that's why that's showing particularly high for me. Um, but yes, that's always good to look at regardless though, but that's just why you're seeing that on my account here. And then something else to note as well is that not only can you see these really helpful performance metrics, but you can also see which client filters were used in this particular campaign. So you can see that for this one, I was sending this campaign specifically to clients who had a service in the category um, of waxing or nail services. So this is a very targeted campaign all about waxing and nail services. And then if you click on these other tabs here, I'm just gonna click on content. This is really cool because you can always go back and look at what the email looks like that you sent out previously. So I'll just scroll down a little bit. You can see who it was from. Of course, it's from the Seven Lakes Salon and Spa. You can see the subject line, and then we can see all of this right here. So we can see all of the email content. So that's really nice if you need to go back and reference a past campaign that you've sent before. And if you wanna jog your memory about even what was exact, you know, the exact content that was in the email. And then if you go over here, if you click on recipients, this is really nice. You can see information about the recipients. So the name, email, and then the status. So we can see all of that. We can see who it was delivered to um, and who has opened it or who it was only sent to. So we can just go and scroll through that. Of course, I mentioned some of these fail just because it's uh, fake email data anyways. All right, so I love looking at that. So this is really nice. You can use that to click into all of your past um, campaigns and view all of that data about them. So any campaign you wanna look at, here's another one that we sent out previously. Um, you can see all of the key information about this one. And I'll just scroll down and you can see some additional campaigns here. 
So it's super easy to go here. This is like your home base for managing all of your campaigns and um, looking at all the metrics about all your sent campaigns, as well as keeping track of all of the campaigns that you have scheduled, anything that's upcoming, things like that, such as this one that we just scheduled before. Okay, so now I wanna take a little bit of a um, departure from this screen, and I wanna show you guys what it looks like for clients who have previously received our emails and kind of show you how to see your message history with them because we really keep it um, super integrated in Mango Mint where you can see the entire communication history with your clients. So not only can you see, you know, appointment reminders, things like that, but you can also see, um, of course, if they send you any text messages using our two-way texting, you can see that history. And of course, with our email marketing, you can see all the history of any marketing emails that we've sent to them. So what I'm going to do now is actually pop over here to the messages screen. So let me go there. I'm going to click here on messages. Um, so this is our messages screen. You can see I don't have any open conversations right now, but I'm going to go ahead and go to a conversation that I have. So I'm just going to click and search for our client, John Hallberg, that we have here. So he is a client at the Seven Lakes Salon and Spa. And so this is really nice because we can see all of the history and the communication with John. So if I kind of scroll back here, you can see that we've sent some automated texts to him previously. You can see we've sent him a uh, text using the two-way texting feature. And then if I scroll up here, I can see some automated emails that our system sent him. So, you know, thank you for your visit, something that was sent to him after he had his appointment. And then you can see that we've also sent him a couple of marketing emails. So right here, um, you can see we sent him one that says, get it while it's hot. We also sent him another one with a subject line, the perfect Christmas gift. So this is something we sent him back in December. If you hover over this um, right here, you know, it says two months, but then if you want to get the exact date you sent it, you can just hover there and you'll see that full date right there. So we sent it on Tuesday, December 19th. Um, even has the exact timestamp of when we sent him that email. And this is really nice too, because if I want to go in and let's say I want to, you know, I don't quite remember what that email was that we sent him. I can just click on the link to the email and then I can go here and I can actually see just kind of like we saw on that other screen where you can look at the sent emails. You can also see that right here. So if I scroll down, we can see, you know, this info, this, uh, uh, email that we sent him previously. Obviously this one, you know, was just an example. So again, we didn't fully finish building out this email, but you guys get the general idea here. Um, so let me go ahead and close that one. Here's another one that we sent him as well. So it's really easy to go, you know, back in here and for any client, just look at all the specific emails that you've been sending them. So we can see that. So really easy to do that. So let me go ahead and close that out. Okay, um, so it's really easy. I love doing that, you know, just having all that communication history right there. And something else I wanna show you guys as well is that if I click on John, I'm actually gonna open his client profile right here because something else that's really cool is that if I wanted to, I'm gonna go ahead and edit something here. I wanna show you how you can update the messaging preferences. So right here, we can see um, that he is, you know, opted into our appointment related uh, communication. So emails and text messages for those. But you can also see that we do have a messaging preference as well for the marketing emails. So you can see right here, this client is eligible to receive marketing emails until December 18th, 2025. Um, so that kind of brings me to my next um, point as well. Something I want to go over here is that it's really important to make sure that you're only sending to clients that you do have an active relationship with. Um, and we do make that super easy for you in MangoMint. So whenever you use our built-in email marketing feature that you see um, that I've shown you today, um, clients are only going to be eligible to receive marketing emails if any of the following things are true. So um, there's a couple different things. So if the client has booked an appointment, completed a sale, or filled out a form within the last two years, then they will be eligible to receive your marketing email. So that means they have, you know, those are all activities that, you know, definitely signify that you have an active relationship with them. And then also something else to point out, and we get asked questions a lot about this too, is that if you have switched over to Mango Mint recently 
And, um, you know, let's say you had some clients who were previously subscribed to your marketing emails that you were sending out from another system, um, then those clients are going to be eligible to receive your Mango Mint marketing emails as long as their previous subs email subscription that um, they had with you has already been verified and approved by our support team. So it's no trouble if you're moving over from another system, really easy to make sure that your clients you already had subscribed to your marketing emails can continue to receive marketing emails from Mango Mint that you're sending out. So really easy if you ever needed to go in here and um, you know turn off marketing emails for a particular client, you can easily go in here and disable that right there. So super easy to do that. Okay, so let me just check here. I want to see if we have any questions. And I also want to go over um, quickly a little bit more information about pricing as well, because I know we didn't fully dive into that. But just before we close out too, I was mentioning the marketing credit. So I want to talk really briefly about that. Um, but the pricing for email marketing, it's super simple. And it's a pay as you go system. So you just pay for whatever you need. Um, when you purchase marketing credits, each marketing credit is going to cost one cent and one credit is required to send one email. So it's super simple. As we saw in our example before, if I go back here and click on email marketing, we saw um, this one. This campaign is going to be sent to six clients. So as you guys saw before, this one would require uh, six marketing credits. So it's really easy to go. You can purchase um, credits in batches if you want to. And then you can also, if you wanted to, you could even set up an auto refill on your credit so that you never run low and they'll just automatically refill as well. Okay, so I think um, it doesn't look like we have any new questions that have come in, but if you do have, you know, as you're kind of getting more into email marketing and you start playing around with the feature, um, you may have some questions that come up. So if you have any questions at all, um, definitely, you know, feel free to start a chat with our team. We actually have a chat right inside of our app that you can use and connect with our support team right away. Um, we also have a ton of great documentation all about email marketing in our learning center. And then if you're not using Mangomint yet, um, but you're watching, you're kind of interested and you wanna learn more, if you go to mangomint.com, you can start a 30 day free trial. And then you can also book a personalized demo and get you know more information about email marketing as well as the entire Mangomint platform. Okay, well, I think we're out of our time now, but I think we've covered a lot of really great aspects about email marketing and so excited to see everybody using this new feature to boost your, boost your uh, bookings and your client engagement. So let us know if you have any questions and we'll be right here. All right, thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to today's Feature Spotlight and we'll see you again soon. All right, bye.